imagine being 38 years old and so drenched, covered in red pill nonsense that you have to go on a show, pretend that you don't want black women, then... <laughs> So have you ever dated, you said you have dated white and Latino women? Yeah. I can't see her. That's your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. So why did you call me looking for a girl? The reason why I called was because. And why is she your lady friend and not your girlfriend? I got to read this. I got, I'm going to let you finish, but again, okay. people are literally spending. So somebody don't spend $9.99. User said, Chris did come on here bashing black women. Then a minute he was sleeping with one for just sex. He is back talking. He's back taking your time because he got wrecked in the comments and only dudes reach out to him. If you had a lady yeah. friend, why did you call me looking for a woman and your lady friend looks black? So why did you call me looking for a non-black woman? So I'm confused now. What the, the, the reason was, I really wanted to get people talking. I really wanted to get people thinking about the situations that they're in. I really wanted people to think about how these $100,000 men that you guys are looking for, there's not too many of them. You know, there's more pretty women than there is $100,000 men, millionaire men. Tell them women that they're delusional is if we don't hear that enough in the comments. This man who claims to be in a relationship, a baby daddy, mind you, baby daddy. This is what I say. This red pill is driving you men insane. Look, there's so many women out here who don't want that. Y'all just don't want them because y'all are attracted to them. What happened is he reached out to a woman. That woman was looking at the millionaires. He probably was like, you can't, you can't obtain that man. Like you, you work at Rady. How can you get a millionaire? So he's upset. That girl that he showed in the video, not his girlfriend. Looks like his sister. Looks like him in a wig. Again, you guys are so drenched in this red pill BS to the point where it's like, I don't know what else to tell you. The same way women are delusional about finding millionaire men, you guys are delusional about this red pill stuff. I get it. The, all the women want the top 20 to... Top 10 to 20% of men. They all want that man. But what can we do about it? Y'all y'all brag to women about dating younger women all the time. So now they're bragging about wanting the top percent of men. Some of y'all just ain't gonna procreate. Nick Cannon is gonna be running around. And then Nick Cannon and men alike are just gonna be drowning in women. And the men that work at the warehouse like this dude is only gonna have one. You can't afford non-monogamy anymore. You can't afford polygamy. You can't afford it. Men who can afford it will have it. You just won't be one of them. You work at a warehouse. You say it's so easy and great came up with a fake story and said husband the latino husband's wife and kids y'all he lied so bad i wanted to scratch the screen when he said yeah and the kids was even in there working kids working in the warehouse kids working beside parents in the warehouse you're stop lying just say that you don't like that black women have crazy standards you can't meet them a woman wants 100k a year you're working at a warehouse you feel like that's crazy for a baby mama of three i agree with you but the lying is weird let the woman who gonna die alone die alone the women who don't get chose by the top of 10 to 20% of men, that's their business. This is the average red pill keyboard warrior. Weird, do not qualify, and upset at everybody else except himself. It was a 70-year-old woman on Kendra's show the other day who wanted the top 10 to 20% of men. They running through grannies now. 52-year-old woman is asking for those men. It's just what's happening. It can and men alike will never run out of women. But the warehouse worker will get one to two women a year. That's just how the game is going now. A lot of people forget that your options is who you can touch, who can reach, and who gets a response, who responds to you, not who you dream of. A lot of women don't understand that difference. Kevin Samuel's slaves, like, oh, one of them die alone, so what? Well, it's gonna be some men that die alone. It is what it is, and nothing new under the sun. Women have always chased after rich men. It's a video right now of of six women pregnant and sharing a local drug dealer. How you men are so scarce, the Nick Cannons of the world, the rich men, the, the Drakes, whatever, they're becoming so scarce that women are saying, you know what, we're going to share you instead of having to date the local Amazon worker. I just thought that this was weird. And then when he said he wanted to stir up commotion, for you to have a girl and for you to be this invested in other stuff and to come up here and make a 40-minute segment, it just was a mess. Like, look at this. When Kendra was like, but you're a baby daddy. He was like, but women should still focus it on other people. I can't. It's just a lot of weird stuff going on. These Kevin Samuels keyboard war warriors are really sick. Put down the red pill BS and worry about yourself.